guys welcome back to my channel today I just wanted to talk to you guys about my preparation for surgery for my tubal reversal which is coming up this coming Monday which is seven days away so I have purchased a few things that I just wanted to take along with me to the surgery so that it makes everything a little easier um, just for after the surgery and things like that. The surgery is going to be in Louisville, Kentucky, and I live in Florida, so the drive is 13 hours away from home for me. Um, I am having surgery for the reason of PTLS. If you don't know what that is, you can go to my channel and you can watch some of my other videos where I explain what that is and what causes it. It's basically caused by uh, having your tubes tied, but like I said, I go more into detail about it in my other videos. Um, again, I'm having my tubal reversal in seven days from now. I will be leaving to go to Louisville, Kentucky this Thursday and uh, just hang out and have a little bit of fun before surgery, not too much, just kind of see Nashville and things like that on our way up just because I haven't been there. I did wanna go over some of these things though, so I just wanna just go ahead and jump right into it. So one of the first thing that I purchased, which is something that I've actually heard about from watching other channels and other people's experiences is gas X. The reason why I purchased gas X is because, and this is what it is. I purchased the extra strength. I got one that is peppermint cream and I got another one that's exactly the same, but this one is cherry flavored reason why I got both of these flavors is because sometimes my stomach doesn't uh, like to hold down much after surgery. It's really nauseous, so I didn't know how I could handle one flavor or the other, so I just purchased both of those. But going back to why I got gas X is because when they do a tubal reversal, they fill your stomach up My doctor is giving me a, a narcotic drug for pain and narcotics tend to make you really really uh, stopped up I know that's too much information but it's got to be said um, so for me I in my previous surgeries that I've had <clears throat> I end up being really really having issues with that so I just wanted to make sure that I purchased those and I took them with me so that after the surgery I can take them so that whenever I do have a bowel movement it's not nearly as severe or painful as it would be if I didn't take those. Just make sure that you do get the stool softener and not just a straight laxative. So this one's good. One of the other things I purchased is Dial Soap, which is, I purchased the antibacterial one. I don't know if you can see that right there. Um, 
there's two bars that come in this pack and what you want to do with that is you want to use that or at least I'm going to use that three to four days before the surgery wash my entire body really well with it before the surgery and probably the morning of the surgery just to kind of get rid of any bacteria that is on my skin or on my body so that I can just um, avoid any problems with infection. So that's what that's for. I got some other miscellaneous things. Just, um, I don't know how long the doctor is going to ask me to not shower, uh, which is never fun. So I did get some travel, um, shampoo and conditioners. So maybe I can kind of put my hair, head in the sink and my husband can help wash my hair. And, um, and then I got some just baby wipes for obviously just like cleaning my body and things like that, that just to kind of help with not being able to take a shower if he asked me to do so, which I don't know yet if how long he's going to ask me to not shower. So I just want to be prepared. So that's why I bought those. I also got, um, makeup remover wipes or just facial wipes just for my face. I don't plan on wearing makeup, but if, um, you know, if I want to clean my face, I just wanted to make sure that I had those. I also purchased some always pads. This one is the size one. So it's for regular flow. It's the, um, thinner pad. The reason why I bought these is because I've heard from other women that after surgery, they end up spotting, um, like almost like having a menstrual cycle, but not nearly as heavy. And I'm assuming that that's probably because the surgeon's been working in that area on your fallopian tubes and your uterus, things like that, just kind of aggravating things around in there. So that's why I got these just so in case for some reason, if I have any spotting, I can use a pad instead of a tampon. I'm assuming the doctor is not going to want me to use a tampon after having my tubes reversed. So that's the reason why I got the pads instead of tampons. Normally I wear tampons. I also purchased, again guys, this is just things that I purchased for the surgery. This is not my daily routine, but um, I purchased these kind of granny panties um, for the pads. And that is just to hold the pad in place, obviously. It's got this nice kind of stretchy elastic band so that it doesn't apply any pressure to my um, to my incision. So that's why I got these. I got a few pairs of these because um, from previous abdominal surgeries that I've had, I've realized that you actually probably should purchase just some extra throwaway underwear because blood ends up getting on them and we all know how hard blood is to get out. So I got about five or six pairs of those. I also purchased some little booties, socks. They look super comfortable and I can't wait to wear them, kind of. Um, they're really soft on the inside and then they have this, these little uh, grippies at the bottom and then this cute little fox on the outside. I'm a kid at heart, guys. But, anyhow. <laughs> I purchased those for after when I wake up from the surgery. My feet are probably going to be cold. So, I got these not only to keep my feet warm. But, I also am probably not going to want to wear shoes. So, I got them for socks and shoes. So, they work for both. 
I also got this, and I'm going to stand up for you guys to show you what this is. But, again, uh, I've watched a lot of videos and I've done a lot of research. So, a lot of people recommend purchasing something called a belly band. Um, a lot of pregnant women wear this. And um, a lot of women wear this after C-sections and things like that. Just It's just for extra support. I did order this on Amazon and I got it in a size large, which is actually really big on me right now. But I'm assuming because I'm gonna be swollen from the surgery that it's probably gonna be really snug on me after surgery. So, and of course my doctor also recommends that I purchase this just again for the extra support, just kind of helps hold everything in so that if you're walking or you're in a car and you're hitting some bumps and things like that it doesn't um feel so painful so it kind of holds everything in but i'm gonna i'm gonna stand up now and show you guys kind of what it what it does so it's just got this velcro um velcro here and what it does is it wraps let's see you just wrap it around your waist like so and then you just velcro it kind of over and over again and then it's got this other velcro right here that if you yank, pull on it it will kind of um it stretches so it's just adds that extra um that extra hold there for you so again, guys, the only reason why I brought that specifically is just for the extra support. Um, obviously my drive is going to be really long and um, especially on the way back, my doctor wants me to stop every two hours and get out and walk around so that I don't get any blood clots. Anytime that you have surgery, you don't want to just um, sit in the same position for long periods of time without moving around because it can um, put you at risk for, for blood clots. So definitely don't wanna do that. Um, so that's gonna be a lot of fun because my husband has a huge F-250 Ford truck that's lifted and I, I don't know how I'm gonna get in it or out of it, but we will handle it when the time comes. Uh, the other things that I bought was, um, I just went to Walmart for this stuff. I got these pants that have this elastic band. They're really, really stretchy. And they have this drawstring on the front of them. But the, this, these are just for um, after the surgery. So when I wake up from surgery, they have something to put me in that's comfy, that's warm because Louisville, Kentucky right now is freezing, especially, um, you know, Florida is pretty cold right now, but not nearly as cold as Louisville, Louisville, Kentucky. So I got them long for, to keep me warm and to keep me comfortable without pressing on my incision. Elastic bands are everything guys. I also got this comfy sweater kind of pull over. Again, this is just for when I wake up from surgery, they have something to put me in that's comfortable, not tight, that I can wear. I also purchased these cute, I don't know why I got them so cute, guys, because I'm just out of control with cute stuff, but I got these cute um, tank tops that I just, I really thought that they were really cute and um, would eliminate me having to like put on a bra because it's got this um, this nice insert in there that's kind of gives you some support up up there for your girls. And that's all I purchased for 
um, for the drive up. So the doctor is going to be giving me my narcotics the day of surgery. He's either going to give them to myself. I'm, so, I'm assuming he's going to give them to my husband. Uh, so I don't have to go to a, um, so I don't have to go to a pharmacy to pick those up. Um, those will be given to me. So, but I am going to Dr. Levine in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, he's been doing tubal reversals for a really long time and, um, he's well trusted by many, many, many women out there. So that's the reason why I chose to go to him, but that's all I've purchased for now. Um, I will be leaving this Thursday to head up and I will make a short video, um, of us driving on the way up, maybe go over the instructions that they're actually mailing to me that I should be receiving any minute. So I might kind of sign on and, and kind of go over that document, those documents with you guys um, in detail a little bit, just for a few minutes. And then my husband's gonna take over and he's gonna film me in the hospital before the surgery. And he's also going to film me after the surgery. So when I wake up and I'm all groggy from anesthesia and all that fun stuff. So um, I will upload those videos obviously when I get, you know, up to being able to get up and be awake and alert and feeling good enough to do so. So wish me luck guys. Surgery is in seven days from today. I mean, I'm super nervous, super excited to just kind of get this over with and get my life back. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Share this video if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.